29 new private schools were recently approved by the Lagos State Government through the Ministry of Education. After scaling the stringent prerequisite measures for approval, the newly approved schools include 16 secondary schools and 13 primary schools. Speaking at the handing over of letters of approval to the proprietors and proprietress, the Commissioner for Education in Lagos State, Mrs. Olayika Olajunjoye, urged school owners to adhere strictly to government's policies guarding their operations. I want to enjoy you that um, government policies and regulations should be adhered to. I want to say to you that you should ensure that your children get to primary six. First of all, those students are ready. They said motto and all the things they need are ready at that time. That's the time when they are supposed to go into secondary schools. And in any case, we want them to go to our own schools. We have to get them to primary six because we are going to ask for continuous assessments and then they are going to write placement tests, which is compulsory for every child in the state when they get to primary six so they can get into the state schools. For those in the secondary schools, at well, you know they have to write paper exam, it's compulsory, and um, we are going to monitor and ensure that you are here to our regulation strictly. You must pay your dues and taxes all the time. We now have you on our database to provide basic infrastructure for you as much as you can, get into your schools and coming out of your schools. We try and ensure that we put security to monitor the areas where our schools are as much as we can because that's government responsibilities. Government will expect you to join any of the associations we want to join. So it's to help is really help you to mentor you and at the same time to meet with the government because government can meet on an individual basis. And then we have the commission has set up a committee and that committee is to, is to look into synergizing the activities of both the public and private schools in Lagos. So we're on the same page all times. And the committee also is in charge of ensuring the same having the same school calendar, curriculum and other things. So your representative, your representative is on the committee, any of the associations. We have about 15 associations and each of them is represented in the association the committee. Some of the newly approved schools were Uncle Bayou's College Ikorodu, Royal Ambassador College Surulere, Lutron Primary School at Dimosho, Brooks Montessori School, Oni Home Children's School and Grace Springs College, to mention but a few. Some of the proprietors and proprietress shared their joy and future plans with education report on tv the journey so far uh, actually is, is not easy but we thank god at the last we achieved actually the government wants every private school to set up a standard they want better standard for our students in order to cope with their other counterpart in the world the journey so far was stressful but today i'm extremely happy because we thank god all the necessary recommendations by the government the facilities to be put in place uh, those are the challenges we we'll encounter the special rooms the laboratories all the special rooms but we thank god at the end it was so good even when we put them in place it brings about tremendous change in the academic performance of the students in the school where the approval to me is okay because through that one will be able to lay a very strong foundation for those children but by the time it's a butter and bread um, approval process definitely one is not laying any good foundation for the children coming so putting the lab in place 
putting the right instructional materials in place, the right test is okay. So me, they are all okay. The steps are okay, at least for the benefit of the children. For me, it increased my professionalism. When the process of all these things are built up professionally, and then my teachers are built up. Then for the students, the quality they receive cannot be compared than when we were yet to get the approval. You know, the facilities are now in place. Those facilities we thought they were not necessary before, we're now getting them. Those we don't know we needed, they are now there. So the students are doing better. The parents are happier. They are confident to say, this is the school where my child is going. I want to tell every school that is on the struggle that have a, a purpose to fulfill, have sense of mission, in education that they should not relent, they should not stop. Though the road may seem tough, but persistence with, with hard work by God's grace will give them success. They will also be approved as well. I will advise proprietors and proprietresses of private secondary schools as well as nursery and primary schools that they must look into the inwardly and outwardly performances of the children. They must not sit down. The Lagos State Inspectorate Division must dive down into the records of schools and not to look at the structures. There are some structures that, that are deceitful. Conclusively, all private schools in Lagos State have been enjoined not to aid and condone examination malpractices in the name of associating their schools with success.